Because it's clear, the threat to our fishery is not the strictly managed commercial fishery. It's an uncontrolled seal population and a government that has put its head in the sand rather than deal with it. The federal government has done inadequate scientific assessments of seal populations, what they eat and how much. Why? You see, if we don't have the scientific data available, the government doesn't have to admit the problem exists. And let's be very clear. The government's refusal to act is political and not based on any kind of science. The government of the day simply does not want to address the all too obvious seal problem. And the reason is simple. Harp seals are the golden ticket for animal rights groups because saving baby seals is an easy sell. It doesn't matter that it's been illegal since the 1980s to harvest baby seals, more properly known as white coats. And to this day, environmental groups use harp seals in their propaganda to gain donations, as if they were a threatened species. Despite the fact that the harp seal is the most populous marine mammal in northeastern Canada. Seal was a staple of northern diets long before Europeans colonized North America. Rich in vitamins, fat and protein, and valued for their warm, durable pelts, seals quickly became valuable to settlers as well. Our historically sustainable and humane seal hunt has been publicly and inaccurately persecuted by the animal rights movement since the 1960s. As a result, the seal hunt has declined steadily in the decades since. The public campaign by animal rights groups has drawn support from individuals with no understanding of the traditional and sustainable nature of the seal hunt. They've had the wool pulled over their eyes, while the real devastation continues to occur beneath the ocean's surface. But unlike African bush elephants, one-horned rhinos, and right whales, seals are not a species under threat. Harp seals are the most abundant marine mammal in Canada's north. The European Union's ban of seal products is one clear example of the global ignorance about the seal hunt. It also shows our government is unwilling to stand up for true environmental sustainability or for our traditional way of life and our culture. Why? Because the Prime Minister of Canada receives more letters about banning the seal hunt than any other issue. It's a hot topic that each successive government chooses to ignore, pushing the problem down the road. In an effort to appease groups with provably false claims against the seal hunt, our government is ignoring a very real and provable ecological disaster. Many former members of groups that oppose the seal hunt are now employed by the federal government. They bend the bureaucracy toward their own misguided agenda. As a result, any action on seals is perpetually stalled. They seem oblivious to the incredible irony of their position. The animal they seek to protect, the seal, is the biggest environmental threat our ocean ecosystem has ever faced. 